out, a car out of one. I pray this devil died and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Come your child. Come your child. Come your child. I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Black people on drugs and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Shalom. This is Officer Yadiron with the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. And today's topic where we're going to go over is that the Most High, He only deals with one nation and one race. Alright, um, we're going to go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So, uh, holy means to be separate. You know what I'm saying? Black Black Hispanics and Native American Indians are a holy people unto the Most High. Go ahead. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above who? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above the Chinese. Above all people that are upon the face of above the earth. Above the white man. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see, black Hispanics and Native American Indians are above all people upon the, upon the face of the earth. You know, because we're the nation that uh, the Most High chose. You know, like, most people think... What race is is the color of, is is the color of your skin, but the the, the Africans they're the same uh, well like they're almost the same color as as a so-called Negro, but they know that they're not the same race of people. You know what I mean? Like your lineage is what your father is, not by what land you came from or like what land you was born. Those were just lands that were conquered by the white man, and he just named them lands. All right. Drop down to, uh, to uh, Amos 3 and 1. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You are Salakia. You only have I known of all the families of the earth, you see, the Most High says that you only have I known throughout the families of the whole world. The Most High is not dealing with all these other nations. He's dealing with one nation, one people, one race. That's what the Most High is dealing with. You know, the Christian church uh, lies and get, to try to get their money and try to say that the Most High, He uh, loves, loves everybody and, and that, uh, that we're all His children. Well, that's a lie according to the Bible. All right? Uh, drop that, go to 2 Sam 7 and 23. 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 23. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom the Most High went to redeem for a people to himself, and to make him a name, and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt from the nations and their gods you know like what nation is like the nation of Israel there's no other nation like the nation of Israel you know the Most High he uh, chose black Hispanics and Native American Indians to be the chosen race the the uh, superior race amongst all nations. We're going to get in more scriptures with that. We're going to show you that uh, through more scriptures that the Most High, He only deals with one nation. He loves one nation. He loves one race. Alright. Um, is that it, Enoch? Alright. Um, go to Exodus 11 and 7. 
Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doeth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. You know, because at the time, you know, uh, the uh, Israelites and uh, the Egyptians, the, the uh, nasty Africans, they knew that there was separate, se separate people. Although they had the same color skin, you know, uh, they knew that they were like a different nation of people. All right. Um, drop that. Go to uh, Exodus um, 19 and 6. Exodus chapter 19 verse 6 and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel you know like uh, the most high said that we were going to be a nation of priests you know what I mean like that's what the uh, Israelite school of universal practical knowledge is you know what I'm saying because we are the uh, uh, prophets of the Most High. You know what I'm saying. We are the uh, uh, true uh, and 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 only prophets of the Most High. There is no other. You know what I mean. Uh, drop down. Uh, drop that. Go to uh, Romans three and twelve. I mean, this is Sakia. Romans uh, three and one. Con, I won't con. Romans. Chapter 3, verse 1. What advantage then hath the Jew? Start right there. What advantage does the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man uh, has over, like, every every other nation? You know what I mean? Like, go ahead. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much, every way. Chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of the Most High. You know, like unto them were committed the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. We're going to get into more scriptures to show you that the Most High, uh, he uh, deals with one race of people. You know what I mean? Like, what the Christian church says, making up all these lies, saying that God loves everyone. It's a lie, according to the Bible. All right, um, we're gonna. Uh, is that is that in it? Oh no, uh, go to uh, Romans uh, twelve and ten. Romans chapter twelve, verse ten. Be kindly, affectionate, one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. You know, like like. As black Hispanics and Native American Indians, we are supposed to prefer uh, each other over any other nation. You know, like uh, some people say that uh, it's it, it's wrong to uh, uh, prefer your race over uh, someone that's Chinese or Arab, but you know, it's it's actually a righteous thing to prefer your race over uh, like a uh, heathen. You know what I mean? I would rather uh, choose my Mexican brother o over the uh, uh, disgusting, nasty white man any day. Alright? Um, we're going to go to the last scripture. We're going to go to Psalms 147 and 19. Psalms 147 verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. His statues and his judgments unto Israel. The Most High showed his law, statues, and judgments unto Israel. That the law, statues, and commandments of Thou shalt not kill, that Thou shalt not murder, Thou shalt not hate thy own brother in thine heart. Go ahead. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. You see, like. These other nations, the Chinese, the Africans, the Arabs, the East Indians, the white man, they have not known the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You know, like, uh, with
with that, um, I'm going to end the session. Um, also, uh, check out Commandy Junior Hunter's radio shows every Monday from uh, 6 to uh, 9 Western Standard Time, from uh, 8 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, don't forget to pay your tithes. Uh, Ten percent of any increase the Lord gives you, you must give to the school. You know, so we could go out to your cities and we could start teaching uh, brothers out there. All right. Uh, with that, shalom. Smart manhood. Uh -huh. Hey, black women. Y